My first introduction to Duncan stuff was through print ads and magazines. Stuff that I remember seeing at a pretty young age that left a pretty big impression on me, like the ad with Seth Lover and Duncan, you know, in Seymour together, and it kind of like put a seed in my young mind that Duncan was like a real heritage company that worked with, you know, legends in the pickup manufacturing world. In 2012, when I started playing Duncan pickups officially, I had, you know, the opportunity to try out a bunch of different Duncan pickups throughout the range. Being able to play different pickups live and record with different pickups, I sort of put my finger on what it was that I would want to change or possibly create with Duncan to kind of idealize my bridge pickup. I've gotten to check these out in my home recording studio and played them in a bunch of different guitars live. The one thing that I've always liked about rail style pickups as opposed to pole pieces is what it tends to do to the high end, particularly between like 5K and 8K. It does like a pleasant sort of smoothing thing where things can get pretty hairy and nasty on pole piece style pickups. And then the management of low end frequencies is probably where I think it shines most. When you're playing a bigger chord voicing like 1, 3, 5, and 7 and some extension, there can be a lot of beating and noting kind of stuff that'll occur. I wanted to try to find a way to get around that and also have something that was uh, pretty fast and aggressive transients. I brought the idea to Derek Duncan of making a seven string style rail pickup. It was something that I always wanted. It was something that I'd seen a lot of people on the internet had wanted for a while. And it was really cool in the structure of a pretty heritage company to have a couple younger guys to work with that were maybe a little bit more, more familiar with the sound that I was going for. So that's where Riley Giffen came into the picture. So we probably started talking about this about two years ago, start getting serious about getting the pickup put together for you. Remember, we, we were making prototypes for you. The original ones were made out of cut bobbins that were epoxy together, but then uh, we started using a 3D printer uh, to do some seven string rail bobbins. And we tried a couple different blade thicknesses, which was, uh, it was definitely good to have the recordings at that point. That was, pretty illuminating I thought yeah there was a the there was a version that you won't see here that had much thicker magnets and while it did look cool it didn't it, it changed the sound of the pickup so we knew that we were on the right track with this size rail So this pickup is a little different than anything that we've done up to this point. It's a, a double blade humbucker. We're starting out with this in seven string version. Uh, it, uh, it has a number of unique uh, characteristics. It was intended for uh, you know, the style of music that Wes plays. It really involves a lot of uh, fast cording and uh, double picking and he relies on having a lot of articulation, but at the same time he wants it to be uh, uh, very full sounding and uh, uh, kind of mean and nasty. So the, the challenge is to uh, maintain the single note articulation so that as you're he's making this transition between cording and uh, double picking and fast riffing that uh, all the notes come out with equal clarity. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, just with the construction of it, we were able to really dial in exactly what we wanted and, and nothing that you didn't want in there. It was really striking to me today, like, how the pick attack really just jumps out at you and how precise it feels, how controlled it feels. It's a subtle 
but really uh, attractive pickup. It sounds awesome. It's got great articulation on the top end. It, it's very good, solid bottom end sound. Holds together really nicely. That was one of the requirements that the bottom end held together. We didn't want a big, messy bottom end. What's been fun for me and hopefully it's been good for you, Wes, is like we're both like metal heads and like, yeah, yeah. Hard. like we really love this shit. So like, yeah. it's fun to work with you on this. It's not like a chore at all. It's like, it's exciting when I get new DI tracks to listen to. Yeah, it's been super fun. Like, yeah. like that's, that's kind of why, that's why you and Beller had to sign the pickups too. You know what I mean? Like I want everyone who's seeing this video to know this wasn't something that just we put together in six months. It's been two years and a bunch of people helping this, caring about it. You know what I mean? To me, that makes it way cooler, you know? Or like knowing that, that like the public at large getting a sort of meat ride in a way, you know what I mean? And like seeing his role in it and Baylor's role and everything, that makes it much more special.